And we're back once again, everybody. I am Jared. This is the Smoking Android, and today I've got another useful app for you guys. Um, I found this a while ago, and I haven't really got around to looking at it to see what it does um, until today when I wanted to catch up on some uh, apps that I haven't looked at in a while, and Phone Notifier is one that um, we're going to be looking at. It's an awesome app, and as far as I know, there's nothing else like it on the market. Um, I think... There are, at least there, there might be some, um, you know, third-party uh, SMS applications that you can download that, that might have these features, but I'm not really too sure because I don't download third-party SMS applications. I'm perfectly fine with, uh, with um, Android for now until I find something cooler. But anyways, getting into the application itself, what it does is, um, when, you know how when you receive a text message... Uh, you know, it'll notify you once, and with Android, it just notifies you once, and that's it. If you have an LED, it'll blink the LED. If you don't have an LED, well, you're kind of hooped unless you, um, you know, turn on your, your screen to check for missed calls or, or um, as, uh, text messages and so on. So what this does is allow you to um, have it continuously notify you that you have a missed call or a missed text message. Now, if I was to gripe about one thing and literally only one thing about this application is that it, in my opinion, should work for all notifications, whether you get emails or anything that pops up in your notification bar, in your status bar there, um, I think it should notify you uh, just the way it does for missed calls and SMSs. I'm not sure if he's if the, develop, uh, bleh, the developer's planning on doing that in the future, but for now this is going to do and um, it's pretty cool. So obviously you would want to enable service, check that box there. And um, you can, of course, pick uh, the different notification sounds, all the ones that you have saved in your uh, device already or loaded in your device already. Uh, you can also use uh, vibra change around the vibration settings if you like. Um, you can change the LEDs. Obviously, you're not going to have, not all devices have all these colors available to them. One thing I did find weird was gray. I've never seen a gray LED light before. So anyways, uh, moving down, obviously, screen set screen on. So what that would do for you is, um, you know, when when it uh, notifies you again, the screen would obviously turn on. I'm not sure if it would go past the lock screen or not. I doubt it would. I haven't tested that out myself. Now this is where it starts getting interesting. Um, the repeat interval. So you can uh, set how often it reminds you. So every I have mine set to 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds, if I haven't checked my notification or my text or a missed call or whatever. Um, every 30 seconds it'll remind me and you can go all the way up to one hour if you wanted but I mean that's kind of strange I guess if you're in a meeting you know you don't want to be reminded too often that would be a good uh, option uh, and number of repeats I have mine set to three now <laughs> the reason why I really really like this app is because uh, my last job that I had uh, everybody in the company was supplied with blackberries you know and their their notifications they it would notify them at least up to three times that you know they may have missed a, a text or a call or something like that and my phone never did that, and it was really upsetting to me because, um, you know, it could be, I could have my phone in my pocket or, you know, my breast pocket or something like that, and I'll have no idea that I missed a call because maybe it was really loud around me at the time. And, um, you know, if I jump back in the, into the car or into the vehicle, uh, you know, I have no way of knowing I received a, a anything unless um, it was to notify me. And um, so this is where this comes in handy. I wish I had this back then. So, um, you know, and also a show status bar notification. So it would just show you multiple notifications. I recommend my settings um, as far as obviously you're not going to want to have screen on. That can get annoying and drain your battery. Um, you're not going to want to have it set too often. Um, you know, 30 seconds, good battery life there. Number of repeats, obviously, you know, if you set it to like, you know, until already, it'll just every 30 seconds forever. So it's up to you. Uh, but show status bar notification, I definitely unchecked that because as I started getting notifications, what it was actually doing was complicating things with um, the stock um, uh, text messaging app uh, here. And it would start sending me and repeating these text messages over and over and over and over and over again. And that was really, really annoying. Um, and as well as showing constant notifications, it would just start filling up. And I was like, holy smoke, turn that off and it fixed everything. So that's just a little tip for you if it if uh, that happens then there you go but anyways really cool app um, you know you've got some more uh, options in here as MMS notifications missed call notifications you can you know set set it for uh, each individual one MMS SMS scheduler oops battery dying you better hurry up uh, unlock features um, not really sure what that does actually 
I looked to see if he had a paid version, but I was unable to find anything. So obviously he doesn't know what he wants to unlock either. But anyways, um, that's basically it, guys. Really, really cool. Really handy notification tool. Uh, you know, never miss a call again. Never miss a text message again. But anyways, that is it. Hopefully you find this app useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Um, I am Jared, and as always, this is the Smoking Android, signing out.